Cool, all right, welcome to the fifth annual Mystery Tackle Box Mystery Bait Fishing Tournament. Um, <laughs> woo! This is kind of like a regular fishing tournament, except there's one twist. The way that this tournament works is uh, we're going to give you guys each a box of baits containing baits from past Mystery Tackle Boxes. Those are the only baits you're allowed to use in this tournament. You are allowed to use your own terminal tackle, terminal gear, but in terms of any baits, they got to come from the box. Each boat's going to get three boxes. Uh, keeper limit on this lake is 15 inches. So keep that in mind when you're uh, keeping fish. We're gonna go till one o'clock. Uh, any boat who's late, what's the penalty? Pound a minute, right? Yeah. Pound yeah. a minute. All right, you lose one wow. pound penalty per minute. We are very strict here in Wisconsin. We don't mess around. Uh, be safe, have fun, and we're gonna launch at six o'clock. So as soon as you guys are ready, we're gonna get this thing started. Thanks right. for coming out, everyone. They had little plasma tails with the green pumpkin with chartreuse tails uh, in the box. So naturally, this lake is, right now they're going through a bluegill spawn. I've got bluegill beds up on a point, um, 12 feet of water, because it's a super clear lake. So I threw a drop shot on, six pound test fluorocarbon, 30 pound braid, and uh, a little medium light reel or rod. So, and we've caught two already. So basically what, what I'm doing with the drop shot is uh, the key to, one of the keys is you've got to have a sinking line. So you throw a fluorocarbon leader on there. I think my leader's probably nine feet, 10 feet long because the water's so clear. And um, it's, you basically drop it down to the weight hits the bottom and the weight keeps the bait in place. And you sit there and you literally move your rod tip about that far. So you're just barely shaking that bait without moving the, the sinker. So you keep the sinker on the bottom. Shake it a few times, pick it up, move it a little bit, shake it some more. And then when you get bit, you can lose them real easy by setting the hook like you would on a normal worm. So when you get bit, you basically just lift up on your rod. You don't set the hook, you just pull tension and start reeling. And that little tiny drop shot hook will go into them and won't have a problem penetrating. So. right now but confidence in this boat extremely high through the roof extremely high that's the tip of the day Gotta have whatever confidence. you put in your tackle box make sure you put confidence in there too <laughs> Why? right now we're doing some uh, flick of shaking with some of the worms we've we've quickly run through our our worms and we're uh, we're struggling we need to find we're trying to find some other other companions to give us some worms out here because we've gone through all these all these guys these are some of the last ones we have left so we're trying to conserve you know these bass are coming up they're jumping they're flinging our worms um, what can I say you know I'm here to win I'm not here to mess around so I'm gonna do what it takes I'm gonna go steal some of those worms if I have to Sorry. <laughs> that was a big one. Yeah. Here you go. Shallow. Was a that was that a mondo. Been, yeah, that was, that was a, a mondo. One. I got one. What do you think, her boys? 
I don't know. I think he's gonna be short. We got. Ah! Oh! What are we doing? No! Back off this spot a little bit. Yeah. Back off. They're here. I think this one's gonna be a little short. We are on a flurry right here. Yeah. Get the board, call my mom. Want to I knew I'd get one. Game changer. Get him, Joe. Get him, baby. This is this. This is it. Yes. Yes. Fling him on in. Yeah. For Wisconsin, that's a good bath, baby. Yeah. Let's go, dude. That's Get that's it, what boys. We need it. Good that's call on coming needed. back. That's my redemption right there. Sure. Really, we, we did the impossible today. Um, they said it couldn't be done shallow. Um, you know, being from Texas, that's, that's my home. That's my wheelhouse. That's where I live. Joe here made a cast up shallow, got a bite. We ran with it. We said we went with the intuition. It just came out. So, for all those that Doc talked this morning, said you gotta be out in deep water. We didn't follow, we led.